Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. Don't call me new guy, or rookie, or any other condescending nickname. Especially since from what I hear, you guys have only been here a week. Okay, suit yourself. And you're right, I've only been here a week, but I've been doing this since I was a kid in Mexico. Which is a lot longer than you. So what? Your dad or uncle were wrestlers or something? <laughs> Must be nice. No, I got myself here. And I got myself to some of the top indie promotions in the world. And now here. What's your point? I wasn't saying you didn't. Unless your old trainer Booker T pulled some strings. Uh, my point is you can either learn from people or be stubborn and fall flat on your face. That's not an option. I've devoted my entire life to this. There's no backup plan. And by the way, Booker might have knocked on the door for me, but I'm not going to wait for someone to open it. I'm going to run right through it. All right, man. Good luck. Hey, who are you? It's my first day training here. Who are you? Seriously? Have you not been watching Japanese wrestling for the past six years? I'm Paragon J. Pierce, the biggest free agent WWE signed since AJ Styles. Uh, bigger, actually. I actually know who you are, but no, I don't watch your matches. I don't want your boring, crappy style rubbing off on me in any way. Look me up online. Just search for best indie wrestler in the world. So you're an indie wrestler, huh? Man, you guys are all the same. You come into a major promotion thinking, it's gonna be easy. But you're for a real wake-up call. I don't plan on being here very long. They actually should have never sent me here to begin with. But I'm gonna take this opportunity to send you running back to whatever backyard county fair parking lot indie league you came from. You remind me of a lot of the guys I faced on the indie circuit. All talk. Luckily for them, they don't have to face me anymore. Unfortunately, you do. Yeah, on a big stage, packed with pressure, like you've never experienced before. You're in my arena now, rookie. And when I'm done with you, you're gonna wish you stayed in your lane. We'll see. I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Are you a referee here, or...? No, man. I'm training to be a wrestler. You and I have actually appeared on the same indie show in Memphis before. Really? I'm pretty good with faces, and I don't remember yours. Well, that's because you couldn't see my face. I was a mascot named Ribby. Oh yeah, the Memphis minor league baseball shows. I think I saw you win a dance-off. <laughs> that was me! The best part of the job was getting to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. Mm. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. So that explains it. You're Lawler's charity case. I could say the same thing about you and Booker T, but I know I deserve to be here. You'll see. Sure. If I need a mascot to cheer me on, I'll let you know. Whatever. I was gonna ask you to autograph something for me, but now I'm not sure I want it. Probably not worth anything anyway. I signed a whole bunch of waivers already, saying I'm not liable for anything I do to you in the ring. How about I give you one of those? I'd prefer an actual autograph, preferably from your old trainer. But I guess that'd be cool too. See you out there.
I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you have heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. Chase! What Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stamford. The coaches and PC staff certainly have input. But ultimately, he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GMs from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here so you can showcase your talents. <laughs> I'm ready for that now. Yeah, we know you think that, but it's not your call, Big Shot. Okay, now that all that's out of the way, we're gonna start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right, new guy, since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you want to Shawn Michaels. Uh, choose from the guy standing next to you. I'm not an option. Look, I could beat one of these guys, but that would be expected. I want to do the unexpected in WWE, like defeating a two-time Hall of Famer on my first day here. I know that might rub people the wrong way, but I don't care. I want to make an impact, and I want to do it right now. Uh, Hunter, you seeing this? This is your chance to say you're kidding. I'm not. It's cool. I'll do it. Sean, that's really not necessary. Look, if I was standing there in his shoes 30 years ago, I might have said the exact same thing. I'm not the HBK I used to be, but one thing hasn't changed. I don't lie down for anybody. Let's see what you got, kid. Let's go, Sean! Teach him why you're the showstopper. Sorry, I was a big fan. Old habit.
hand it to you. Took a lot of guts to call me out and then back it up in the ring. I said I was gonna make an impact, and that's exactly what I did. It was a risk, and also a bit of a shortcut. From my experience, those two things don't always work out. But this one did, didn't it? I guess so, since Triple H just texted me that he saw our match on his live feed. He said he was impressed, and he'd be keeping an eye on you. Well, there you go. Everything turned out great, didn't it? Yeah, except for my sore back. Wasn't exactly planning on competing today. Now I'm paying the price. Just keep in mind this was one match. You still have a lot to prove before you're ready for WWE. What the hell was that? What do you mean? I mean calling out Shawn Michaels on your first day. There are unwritten rules to follow here. There's a system in place. Who do you think you are to just ignore all that? I think I'm the top prospect now. No, just because you caught an old timer off guard doesn't make you the top anything. That title still belongs to me and everyone here knows it. That's not what Triple H posted on social media. Wait, what did he say? Man, it sure is easy to get in your head. I'll keep that in mind going forward. <laughs> 